What's going on guys? My name is Keizo and welcome to this brand new Let's Play of Path of Exile Atlas of Worlds. Um, just recently got back into Path of Exile again um, after quite a few months, maybe a couple of years hiatus. Um, they've changed a lot. Um, really looking good right now. The game is amazing as always. Um, I've always had a blast playing. A couple of new things they've done. They've changed the leagues around a little bit. Right now they're running the Essence League, which is pretty cool. Um, we will get into that. That is actually what we're going to be playing through. Um, and I believe I'm going to go ahead and play with a Ranger this time. Um, I do have a melee character. My Marauder right here. He's level 46 right now. All my other characters are gone. Uh, stuff happens. Like I said, I stopped playing for a while and ended up deleting them, creating a completely new account. Uh, so I do have my level 46 Marauder. That's going really good. I just got to uh, Cruel on him going through Act 1 again. Really cool. Was having a little bit of difficulty there uh, with survivability, but we'll see if we can get through those problems with this character. So, we'll go ahead and hop right in. Here's the League. Um, we will not be playing a hardcore character just because it's a let's play. I don't want to go ahead and end up dying on the first or second playthrough and then not be able to go through the rest of the league. So we will be doing a regular league here, the Essence League. What the Essence League is, is there is groups of monsters that are trapped within these essences as you progress through the game. And you need to free them from that essence and then fight that group of monsters. Sometimes it can be extremely difficult to get through. Uh, I did have a couple that wiped me out on my melee character before. But the essences themselves I will get into as soon as we actually pick one up and look at it. So I can explain that when we get there. We'll go ahead and create our character for now. We are going to do a ranger. No um, life can be owned. What should not we name deers, it? Not a rabbit's and not mine. Every creature has a birth-given right to live however it will. I suppose. However it can. I'll let her go on for a minute. My right is to hunt. To feed off the wilderness in the understanding that one day, the wilderness will feed off me. The fat lords of Aureth have no such understanding. They call me poacher and thief. Clap me in irons and haul me like cargo into exile. No matter. I'll make the forests and mountains of Rayclast my new home. My freedom and my bow, that's all I need. Alright. So while that was going on, I don't know if you saw this. Our character name is That Other Ranger. Um, I've, done, I've done a few retarded names. That's just an easy one that just kind of popped into my head a minute ago. A bunch of rangers running around. We are That Other Ranger that's running around. Alright. Before we even get into anything, I'm going to, for one, adjust some stuff here. Can I... Uh, you know what, we'll just leave it as is for now. Alright, basics of Path of Exile. I don't know if those of you that are watching my videos are familiar with the ARPG category of games, uh, short for action RPGs, or action role-playing games. I know this is all basic information, guys, but I, like I said, I might have people, some of my subscribers coming from some of my other videos, like my the videos with my R6 and everything, that have no idea what's going on here, so I will try and explain everything to the best of my ability. We'll bring up our character screen here. As you can see, it's got us, the zone we're in, our life, our mana, our level, and the three main stats in the game. We've got intelligence, if I can speak correctly. Intelligence, dexterity, and strength. Us being a ranger right now, we are a dexterity class, so I will get into some of that a little bit later. You've got all your basic stats here. Offense, defense, miscellaneous stats, such as like magic finding items and stuff like that, and different charges. Again, this is something we'll get into more in depth as we progress through the game and we get stuff that actually upgrades some of this stuff. Alright, time to pull out the drawing mode here for a minute. Down here, wow, that is not a cool arrow. There's your life, that's what keeps you alive. Um, if you lose all your life, you are dead. Simple as that. On the other side here, over here, I'm not even going to use the drawing thing for now. On the other side over here, we've got our mana. Uh, this is what you use to cast your spill spills. Oh boy, can you tell I haven't done a let's play in a while? Cast your spells, use your abilities, um, 
any, anything that you need to do to kill monsters or save yourself, this is what you use to do it. This is your resource. Uh, right next to your mana, over here, we've got three main attack skills here. You can see there's a little mouse symbol next to those. This is your left click, this is your middle click, and that's your right click on your mouse. So if I were to get up for a second... I've not seen a wilderness like this before. There'll I, be some dark days ahead. I've seen it quite often, actually. Um, so if I was to just left click, you can see since we do not have a weapon equipped, we're just punching. Um, what I'm doing right now is just holding shift, uh, and that's basically a forced, forced standstill um, so our character doesn't run around because this is also move on right click, or left click, I'm sorry. Below the three mouse buttons, we've got five different keys here. Um, they're bound to Q, W, E, R, and T right now. I usually just play with them. You can bind these keys to whatever you want, um, as well as your flash slots. This is where your skills go. Um, you gain skills through the game by skill gems. You put those into gear, and then you gain your skills, and you can use those skills to kill enemies, create minions, do all sorts of crazy stuff. Again, things we will get into. I'll hit I here, I'll bring up my inventory screen. As you can see up here, we've got our equipment slots. Got our weapon slot here. You can have two weapons equipped at once, well, not at once. Um, two weapon sets, basically. So you've got your weapon set, head armor, chest armor, gloves, belt, feet armor, two slots for rings, and a slot for an amulet. And down here, we've got five slots for flasks. Flasks are vitally important in Path of Exile. They keep you alive, and they keep you being able to fire off your skills by keeping your mana up. Um, basically, with a flask, you'll use a little bit of it, like if I was to just go ahead and, well, right now we're at full health, so we can't really use it. If I was to use this flask, it'd deplete a little bit. As you can see, it says recovers 70 life over 6 seconds, consumes 7 of 21 charges on use, and it currently has 21 charges. So basically, we can use that flask 3 times before it empties. But it does not empty and stay empty. As we kill monsters, we will gain more charges. So the more monsters you kill, the more charges in your flask, the more times you can use them, the more times you can refill your health to keep killing monsters, etc, etc. Um, a lot of stuff in the game, you can you can level up and upgrade to different items, and uh, again, this is something we will get into. Alright. What else here for basic things? Uh, up here in the right hand corner, this is our map. We can hit tab, and that brings our map down to a almost see-through um, bigger version of the map that will usually fill out about that size of the screen so you can see where where you're going and up here it tells you your zone we are on normal difficulty the monster level in the zone the league we're in loot allocation and what realm we're on and it also says that areas can contain essences which is the essence league that we are playing in now this is where people kind of get intimidated with path of exile this is the passive tree. There is hundreds and hundreds of different skills. Every single one of these circles is a passive skill. Um, every level you gain, you gain a passive point that you can put in one of these skills. Uh, there's a couple other ways to gain skills. Uh, if, say there's a couple of quests that you can complete, you gain a skill. So at the end of the game, game I think you end up with about 120. 20 some odd skills. I may be wrong on that number. Don't quote me on it. Um, so you can't obviously can't fill up all of these skills. So you gotta kind of have an idea of what you want to do with your character before you go ahead and start allocating points. Um, now, if you go to pathofexile.com, they have a sample of this tree that you can play around with and add points and take points away before you actually go ahead and commit to a build here. Um, just for a quick instance here, or quick explanation, um, where's a keynote? Okay, there's one. Um, this is a, a keystone here. This one with the gold thing around it. This is one of the main skills in the game, I guess. It, this defines your character more than, say, tend to intelligence would, obviously. 
so this is Ghost Reaver. It says Life Leech is applied to Energy Shield instead. Life Leech is a type of skill that when you hit an enemy, you leech some of your life from them. Now, if you didn't want to leech just straight life, you can see we've also got a shield here, and you wanted that to apply to Energy Shield, you'd have to work your way. This is where, you're, where we started here, all the way up, to grab that. On the way, say we could come up and get projectile damage and attack speed, go into Ballistic Mastery, which increases projectile damage and projectile speed, or we could just come up, get straight dexterity, head up into something like Val Pact, which means Life Leech applies instantly, life regeneration has no effect, we could go over and get some bow damage, um, could even come up here and get some chaos damage, chaos resistance. As you can see, there's a lot of different things that you can do to upgrade your character and make your character more powerful and change the, the style of play. This is what's really cool about Path of Exile. Say if you wanted to, for instance, have a ranger that just dual wielded and had more strength than anything or ran off of totems, you could come down this way, pick up a couple skills along the way, come over, get some totem skills over here, even get some weapon skills off of the marauder tree, or you could come up here into the uh, witch tree and get some minions and uh, th I don't, this whole I could go on and on and on with different builds um, we'll get to that when we actually start making points here um, we'll go ahead and pick up that bow I do not have auto equip on so I'll go ahead and throw that in my weapon slot here and we'll talk to this dying exile which has a quest over his head Bastards dumb near two dozen of us off that ship. You, know, you and me were all that survived the swim. <laughs> Never was much difference between exile and the death sentence. <laughs> uh, once I catch my breath here, we'll take a look around. See what Ray Class does on offer. I thought I saw smoke at those ruins up the beach. It could be worth checking if there's... Alright, there's our first monster here. If we go ahead and right click, we'll fire an arrow at it. We'll just keep doing that until it's dead. He dropped a skill gem. Skill gems are how you gain your attacks and your abilities in Path of Exile. You can see here this is Burning Arrow. Right underneath that it says it's an attack. It's also a fire attack. And it's also an a, a fire attack that has to do with bows. The skill gem right now is level 1. The mana cost for this skill is 5. And it only requires level 1, thankfully, because we are level 1. Captain Obvious is obvious. It explains the skill. It says fires an arrow that deals fire damage to its target and has an increased chance of igniting it. And then it goes into the actual details of the skill. 50% of physical damage converted to fire damage deals 150% of base attack damage, 20% chance to ignite enemies, and a 10% increased burning damage. Then right under that, it's got an experience bar. Your skill gems level up as you do. So they get more powerful as you go through the game. So say if you found a skill gem at level 40 that you wanted to really use, you'd have to go and level that thing up again, which kind of gets into a pain in the ass, but then again, it's really cool. Um, another thing that's really cool with Path of Exile is the way they did gems and stuff like that. Um, other ARPGs, Diablo, for instance, uh, Diablo 2 specifically, which is way older, but uh, it used to be the, that when you put a gem in a slot, that was it. That gem disappeared, it was now locked to that weapon, you couldn't do anything with it. If you wanted to replace that gem, you'd have to actually go out and get a new piece of equipment, and then find another gem to put in that equipment. This is completely different. You right click the gem, you take the gem out, if you find a new piece of equipment, you can save that gem, put it in your new piece of equipment, and keep on rolling. Really cool. Um, yeah, re really cool feature. Alright, so I think that about covers the basics. Um, as you can see here, now we've got Burning Arrow, which is the skill we just picked up on our right click. It gives us all our stats, our DPS, our mana costs. If you want to go ahead and pause the video and take a look at that uh, in more detail, go for it. But we will go ahead and get going down the beach here and start killing some stuff. That was a big pack of mobs to start off with here. Now as you can see, 
people over in the right hand corner here. As I'm using fire arrow, my mana is going down. Now there's two ways you can rebuild your mana. As you can see, as I stop casting fire arrow, my mana is slowly going up. Or we can hit our, fla our mana flask over here, which is number five, and our mana refills instantly. And as you can see, down here, we've used 10 of the 30 charges. But, it's a good thing there's more mobs here, because as we kill mobs, those charges are replenishing themselves. Really cool feature, again, flasks are vitally important. They keep you alive. And, yeah, they keep you alive. <laughs> Use them often. My mana is gone. Picked up a club there. Oh, I just hit both of those barrels. As you can see, our chance to hit isn't very good at this point. So we will be missing a little bit. But there is skills in the passive tree to fix that, which is pretty cool. I'm still breathing, that's a good sign. Alright, there's level two. We'll go over here real quick. Break that crate, nothing in it. Now we've got our first passive point. Go over here, this is the ranger um, starting point in the tree. As you can see, we've got two flashing nodes here. We've got projectile damage, which increases our projectile damage by 16%, or we've got evasion and life, which increases our evasion rating by 18% and increases our maximum life by 12. So there's two ways of going about this. Do we want more projectile damage, or do we want to avoid mobs more and have more life so we can live longer? I'll just pause there and let you think about that. So there's two different, two completely different ways. We may kill things faster, but this might let us live longer. Um, again, there's other key nodes here, or um, those aren't key nodes. Those are just more important skills than normal. Uh, I'm gonna look around here because I haven't played the ranger in a while. Movement speed. Dual wield, attack speed, accuracy, evasion life. We're gonna go ahead and go just straight projectile damage. So it gives you the chance, you can um, cancel that if you don't wanna do it. It gives you the chance to think about that for a second before you actually apply the points. I'm pretty sure that I wanna go projectile damage and probably pick up ballistic mastery and maybe come down in a primal spirit. I'm not quite sure yet. May go up into uh, Avatar of the Hunt up here. We'll see when we get that far. So now our projectiles do more damage, which means we kill things faster, which is always a good thing. That's another huge pack of mobs. with nothing in it again. Always a good thing to double check or check all chests, check boulders, check little hiding spots, check crates. There could be something very um, rare or very useful in those crates. Having a little bit of desync going on here. So I'll just do a slash OOS, which is an out of sync macro that basically forces your computer to reconnect with the server. Um, shouldn't have that much lag issues here. Alright, over here, this is Hillock. This is the. Yeah! Unique boss of the first zone, and actually, he's going down pretty fast. Alright, get a blue bow medium life flask, an iron ring, and a glass shank. Now we'll go ahead and head right into the town. And we are at our first hub, Lion Eyes Watch. 
serious descent going on there. Whoa. There we go. What's happening? I was going to say, is there too many people here? There's nobody even here. All right. Now, here's the stuff we picked up. You can see some of it is red. Uh, there could be two reasons for this. This one, it's unidentified, so we don't know... We know that that's a magic item, we just don't know what kind of magic item it is. This one, however, is a regular item. It's grayed out, uh, but it requires level 3, so we can't use that quite yet. We will be able to, but not at this second. Um, this is a medium life flask, so it's obviously bigger than a small life flask, holds more charges, um, and you recover more life with them. That's another thing that upgrades from some of the smaller items here. Over in the right corner here we've got scrolls of wisdom and you can see in the blue text it identifies an item. So we're gonna go ahead and right click that scroll of wisdom. Wisdom. What is wisdom? Come over here and we've got 49% increased physical, physical damage. That's actually a pretty good roll on that. Unfortunately it doesn't have a green gem slot so that's not gonna do us any good. Uh, we will go ahead and use this iron ring though. It adds 1 to 4 physical damage to attacks, so more damage is always good. Equip that plate vest, gives us some armor. Um, what else can we do here? Stun duration, spell damage. Just for the hell of it, I will equip a melee set there just in case we ever need it. Um, probably not going to use it that often. And we'll go over here and talk to Nessa. I've seen you before, back in Aurea. Running like a frightened rabbit from my father and his gamekeepers. Fleet as a fox you were, even with that leg of prized venison over your shoulder. And from what I saw you do to Hillock, you've grown even faster since then. I'm Nessa. And I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of that putrid giant. I hope your speed never fails you, Ranger. It's all that stands between you and death here in Raycast. Hooray. Lion Eyes Watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Alright, so she gave us a quest. And we're going to sell this stuff we're not going to use right now to her. Another thing I haven't mentioned yet is currency in Path of Exile. As you notice, I didn't pick up any gold or anything like that. These are currency items. We've got shards, scroll fragments, um, all sorts of different currency items to upgrade armor, upgrade weapons, upgrade gear, change the color of slots in gear, change the amount of links in gear, all sorts of stuff. We'll get into it when we actually get to that. For now, we'll go ahead and accept that. I'll run over here to my stash real quick, which is completely full from my Marauder. Uh, throw this medium life flask in here. Um, I will go ahead and take a whole stack of Identify Scrolls and a whole stack of Portal Scrolls because those are very useful. Okay, all of this stuff here over in the left corner, this is all currency items. These are the orbs and stuff that I was talking about. As you can see here, we've got all different stuff. This one upgrades a normal item to a magic item. This one reforges a magic item with new random properties. Uh, upgrades a normal item to a random rarity. Like I said, there's all sorts of stuff here that upgrades stuff and changes things and reforges the links between sockets, all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna take that other ring there because I can actually use that and I will take this Quicksilver flask. That's huge especially as a ranged character so we can get out of trouble if we need to. Um, in the bottom right corner over here these are the essences um, for the Essence League. Let's see if I've got one that's just a basic... I'm pretty sure that's a basic one. Yeah that's a basic one. Okay. So there's different tiers of essences and different types of essences. This is a whispering essence of greed. Whispering is the prefix on it, greed is the suffix, and essence, obviously, it's an essence. Uh, as you can see, it upgrades a normal item to a rare item with one guaranteed property. Properties are restricted to level 35 and below, since this is a tier 1 essence. 
this one um, gives us a percentage of physical attack damage leech as life if you put it into a weapon if you put it into an armor upgrades your maximum life if you put it into, into a quiver physical attack damage again a belt is increased flask life recovery rate other jewelry once two life regenerated per second now that's just one of many uh, these are not all the essences yet I haven't run into all of them um, but there's all sorts of different essences that upgrade your gear in different ways. Um, is there anything here that might be useful to us at this point? I highly doubt it. Select damage. Max life. Energy shield. Dexterity. Since I'm not going to use those on my other character, I'm just going to go ahead and unequip that so I can use this. Bam! Oh! Ha! <laughs> of course that would happen. Now the required level just went up to 17. I did give a bunch of decks, a couple little points of armor there, and some cold and lightning resist on it. Um, so we cannot use that now. I think we're go ahead going to go ahead and hold off on the essences for now. Um, nothing else I can use in here, I don't think. Yes, there is. Oh, that thing's getting in my way up there. Can I hide this somehow or put it somewhere different? I suppose I can just move it here so it's out of the way. Kind of. Right now I'm just looking for other skills that I might be able to use. Ball skills I'm not really interested in right now. Dual strike, ice shot. Ice shot might be a good one to go with. Yeah, we'll go with Ice Thought instead of Burning Arrow. Just cause. Equip that. And that's all we're gonna take out of here for now. Um, we will go ahead and sell this item that we can no longer use to Nessa. And go back over to my currency tab, put those back in here. I just amass currency, cause right now there's really no need for me to use them. Um, down here you can see we've got a quest log, uh, it just tells us the mission we're on, the missions we've completed, which is grayed out. Uh, we do still need to talk to Tarkley, who is over here. Um, we'll talk to Bestel first and pick up this a other quest. A ravishing ranger, relegated to rot in Ray class. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you, Exile. Easy go. You could skewer the bloke with a look like that. The name's Bestel. Captain of the good ship Merry Go. Unless my Merry Go is gone, my crew is uh, gone. But my wits remain. After the flesh. <laughs> Creepy laugh. There's an island, a hop skipping away offshore of the terraces. That's where my Merry Go ran aground. Watch the locals spit roast the ship's doctor, but his medicine chest might still be there, amongst the splinters and bones. It'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands often was lousy with a scalpel and even worse with a saw, but he knew his apothecary. Explains the Shaky Hands, if you ask me. Alright, so, a um, whole bunch of flavor text and lore here that we can get into. I won't do that. I won't torture you guys that much. Um, so, as you can see, that's updated. We will go ahead and talk to Tarkley. Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, don't tell me. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us the moment his blackguards dumped us in the water out there. Just live or die now. Here, have one of these. And no need to thank me. I'm thinking of myself and the others here. The longer we fighters live, the longer everyone lives. Hooray! Skill gems. Shot. Hmm. That might be 
even better than Ice Arrow. Um, we'll carry that with us to compare the three, I guess. We'll go ahead and pick up Burning Arrow as well. If I can find it again. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, no more quests to pick up. There's a couple more characters here that we can talk to. And down here in the lower corner is our waypoint. We don't have any other waypoints yet. Um, oh, I can actually travel to my hideout since I made one already. Oh, I can. That's kind of cool. Okay. So this is my hideout from um, my Marauder. Basically, these guys that are standing around here, uh, you need to gain experience with them, and then you can create your own hideout, which is basically player housing. Um, if I wanted to like edit some stuff here, you can go ahead and pick things up and move them around if you wanted, and just customize your own little place to come to. We'll go right back here though, because we won't get into any of that quite yet. What I will do now, um, before we head out into the coast here and continue with our adventure, I'll go ahead and, and keep these videos to about 30 minutes. And as you can see up here by my recording software, we are at that point right now. So I'll go ahead and end this episode here. Um, stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. There's a definitely a bunch more coming as we uh, continue our way through Path of Exile and explore the uh, Essence League. Thanks very much for watching, guys. See you next time.